Nuyeza Alcott, the writer, said, Love is God's handwriting, and it's true. Every one of us is gathered here to celebrate the gift of love, to look at Jeff and Neil, to understand that they're walking into the future together. I've known them for six years, and I'm just glad that the church has got us act together, and I can celebrate before God love, as we should see. Big, 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 big things are coming. Big things coming. Oh, yeah. Get your hands clapping. Oh, yeah. Keep your feet moving. Oh, yeah. Big, 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 big things are coming. Come in. You go first. Okay. <laughs> I'm just pushing him over. Neil? Uh, I can't believe today finally came. <laughs> <laughs> Every day I tell you I love you, but I don't always tell you why. Here's to a happy day. You're my best friend. You're my better half. You make me laugh all the time, and I'm so incredibly proud of your passion, kindness, and determination. Neil, you're extremely strong-minded, have a deep sense of social justice, but above all else, you have a huge heart that captures everyone you meet. Neil is a rare find. He's truly free from malice. He's a decent man. Neil and I met at university and we quickly hit it off because we had a lot in common our shared Aberdonian heritage. Um, we both enjoyed going to the pub whenever possible, and neither of us have had very many girlfriends. <laughs> I want you to know, Neil, you're the most organized groom than my 537 weddings. I've never known a man like it. I love your insecurities, how you always leave one corner of your toast, <laughs> how you have a separate drawer for single socks. <laughs> <laughs> the lost sock drawer. <laughs> and can manage to burn any dish, including pasta or boiled potatoes. <laughs> it might seem like a bit of a cliche, but you're just too good to be true. Aww. And I can't take my eyes off. Jeff uh, has greatly impressed me uh, since I first met him, as he runs his own business. And he has, in fact, multiple projects on the go at any given time. And it's brilliant to see his ideas come to fruition, yet remaining humble and modest about his considerable achievements. And Jeff, you have taught me what saintliness and patience is. <laughs> Jeff, you have the ability to make people you meet feel at ease, and that feels like a warm hug. Your drive and determination enables you to be so successful, and your kindness inspires me daily. I was drawn to Jeff because he's handsome and funny and kind and supportive. I've never met anyone like him, and with him, I feel we can do anything. Jeff has the most amazing eyes, the kindest face, he's positive, his enthusiasm for life, and his level of vulnerability and openness that makes me feel safe. Now this sounds like a true love story. One of the great things about meeting you several years ago when our friend Mark introduced us was watch you grow as a couple. And over the past few weeks and months especially, They've been this thing, planning this wedding and just talking about many of you. I know all your stories. And one of the things that's been really interesting is they sometimes stop and they look at each other. And I would call it the love look. It's that look that only couples can have where they understand, they understand each other and they know the depth of their soul. And to me, this is something that's quite striking because together we're seeing a partnership and it's a wonderful thing that grows. God's handwriting. Uh, we actually want to start with a, a special mention 
Uh, it's fair to say that we wouldn't be here today if it weren't for the actions of two people. So I want to thank Dawson Fergus, uh, who introduced us both to the dating website OKCupid. <laughs> After creating an online profile and spending hours answering precise questions about my hobbies and interests, I was delighted to find that there was an 87% match <laughs> with myself, swimmer lad. Yes! <laughs> 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 not as imaginatively, Edinburgh guy. <laughs> <laughs> So hi everyone, um, I'm Lennox, uh, I've known Neil for 13 years since we did our social work training together and I remember clearly the first time Neil told me about Jeff. He said he'd been on a date with a great looking guy with broad shoulders and a lovely smile who had his own business and drove an Audi <laughs> and my immediate thoughts were, this guy's not real. <laughs> I remember when Neil first told me about Jeff, he described him as very handsome, with a kind nature that was unrivaled. I knew Jeff was different from the beginning. The way Neil spoke about Jeff gave me butterflies. Never mind Neil. <laughs> Fun fact, he was very real and every bit as impressive as Neil described. It soon became clear to me and to Neil's other friends that they were a perfect match. Both kind, yet ambitious, hardworking, but great fun, keen to make the most out of life, and genuinely delighted to have found each other. I've known them both for a considerable time. In fact, it's 10 years today since Neil and I first met. But today isn't about me, even though this wedding has been nicknamed <laughs> Ailey's Wedding 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my wedding, it's not. Uh, Neil and Jeff are two of the most wonderful people in our lives and Joe and I have had such a great time over the past years sharing adventures with them. Individually they enhance the lives of everyone they meet and together they really are the definition of a power couple. Love is when you are old and memory fades you can still recall that first touch, that first kill, kiss. kiss. <laughs> in the notes, but it works, so that's fine. This couple are probably the nicest guys I've ever met and the nicest guys I've definitely married. <laughs> and I've enjoyed our time together, lunching, drinking, eating and planning. It's amazing how two different people can get together and work. However, <laughs> Neil has since let it slip that Joss, a.k.a. the catfish, <laughs> answered all his dating profile questions for him. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so, though Neil, although you aren't as musical or theatrical as Joss, it's still fair to say that thank you, Joss, for bringing him into my life, and Fergus too. So it's hard to, um, to to think about Neil and Jeff without their beloved dog Dash, who joined their lovely household in 2019. Dash is a great dog, um, so friendly and fun, and in my mind he's taken on the characteristics of both of his dads. That is to say, he sometimes sleeps in a cage and he walks around the house wearing nothing but a leather collar. <laughs> What may I will love you until my dying day. Suddenly, the world seems such a perfect place. Suddenly, it moves with such a perfect grace. Suddenly, my life doesn't seem such a waste. It all revolves around you. And there's no mountain too high, 
no river too wide. Sing out this song and I'll be there by your side. Storm clouds may gather and stars may collide. But I love you until the end of time. Come what may, come what may. I will love you until my dying day. So Jeff and Neil have exchanged rings, they've held hands, they've made their solemn vows. I now pronounce them husband and husband in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jeff and Neil, a big snog. Some of you may know that Neil is a big fan of trashy TV. Yes. <laughs> Especially Love Island. <laughs> so of course, I must finish by saying the boy I would like to couple up with <laughs> for the rest of my life is you, Neil. Thank you. Thank you.